I don't know about you, but I have somewhere to go. I have errands to run. I don't have a ton of time just to sit and play with my makeup. And this is like most days when I need to put on makeup, I need something fast, but it helps me feel a lot more polished and pulled together. So if you have days like that, let me know in the comments below. You can also put a little hashtag, hello lovely, it's your way to weave to me over the interwebs. And if you don't know me, hi, my name's Mary. I am a busy mom. I have two kids. I am a podcaster with my husband. I love to podcast about all sorts of books and TV shows and movies. And I also love to play with makeup. I think that it can really help make a difference in your confidence and how you feel about yourself. Um, it's I don't put on makeup for anybody else. I put it on for me and it just makes me feel like a whole new person. So come on in and say a little hello. Hi, Annie. Hey, Sandy. Hi, Pernell. How you doing? Thank you, Sandy, for the hashtag. I hope you're doing great today. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. So I'm going to start things off with just a little bit of prep primer. I joke that if you don't prime, it's a crime and because you are using up way too much of your makeup. Primer actually fills in your fine lines and pores so that way when you put on your foundation, it has a nice easy canvas to kind of apply to. Oh, hi. Thank you so much from Norway. Yay. Oh my goodness. Is this your first time watching Cornell? And is, am I pronouncing your name correctly? And lastly, what time is it there, my friend? Tell me what time it is. All right. So I'm putting on some mattifying primer. This is great um, for everybody, honestly, especially if you have oily skin, large pores. Um, if you really want to have like this nice matte look to your face, you can apply a dewy foundation on top and that will kind of even it out and you'll have a nice mix. If you do like a full matte look, if you're someone who has really oily skin, this is going to be great for you. And as I said, if you have large pores, this is going to be a game changer for you. For my large pore areas, I just go in with just a little, little smidge more and I kind of just like press it in. This is where my larger pores are. Where do you guys have your large pores? Hey Lottie, how are you? Thanks for the hashtag. Hello, lovely. I hope you're doing well. I have some doctor's appointments today and I am not too excited about it. For any of you who know me, you know that I've been dealing with some health issues recently and I, I get to take care of them randomly, <laughs> randomly, such as the life of a busy mom. Um, oh, I don't want this one. I just want some regular hydrating. Where is my hydrating one? Do I have my hydrating one? If not, I'll just use the regular. I will say I do prefer to use either the regular primer or the hydrating primer underneath my eyes. My eyes, particularly this time of year, they get a little bit of dry. It is four in the afternoon, how amazing. So I'm just gonna pat that right there. So once again, this fills in your fine lines and pores and it really acts like a great base for your makeup to stay onto. It's gonna hold onto it so it doesn't shift and slide like tectonic plates or something. One thing you guys can do for me, which is a huge help, is to hit that share button below. You could share it on your walls or in your stories. Um, sharing is caring and it helps me meet new people. So if this brings you joy or you get to learn something, please know that hitting the share button is really great. Lottie, you were sick, no. Oh, I'm so glad that you're feeling better. My goodness gracious, that's terrible. I'm glad you're doing better though, my friend. I didn't know you were dealing with that. Hi, Patricia. Yeah, so I have some errands to run and doing doctor stuff is one of my least favorite things. Having blood work done, ugh, really one of my least favorite things. So for me, when I put on my makeup, it helps me feel more polished and pulled together. It gives me a little bit of confidence. Even though I know that's not the way it is for everybody, that's how it is for me and that's why I like to do my makeup. Anybody else feel that way? Sometimes for people it's like putting on um, like perfume. Perfume can sometimes do that for people or you know putting on a nice outfit it just helps you feel a bit more polished. So I'm putting concealer on my eyelids. I don't know if you guys can see but I have a lot of veins and freckles on my eyelids and when I do this it just makes a really big difference taking a damp blending bud kind of cancels all that stuff out and it helps me look a lot more alive and awake. I do this even if I'm just wearing my glasses and I'm not even putting eyeshadows on. I just kind of add this little bit of a concealer base now this concealer is amazing. It's brand new. As of the end of last year, it has caffeine and tons of other skincare elements in it. So it's gonna help tighten and brighten and do anti-aging work onto your skin. So I love it. It's buildable to full coverage. I just put a little bit there and then kind of blend it out with that damp blending bun. And already my eyes, my upper eyelids look more awake and alive. It kind of gives a little bit of a faux facelift. I'm going to put on some eyeshadow and that will help look a lot better. Um, Patricia says that blue is gorgeous on you. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're way too kind. I really appreciate that. Um, 
All right, so the other thing, when you put on primer, let the primer sit for a good three minutes. You wanna let it like settle in those pores, do its thing. If you just slap on primer and then slap on your foundation, you're actually mixing the two and it's not allowing the primer to do its job. So I like to apply the primer and then do my eyes. I'm actually gonna do my easiest eyeshadow. This is the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Reverent. You can get this in my January beauty box, which is $99 US. Uh, comes with over $400 worth of full-size products. It is going to be a game changer. If you need to switch out your makeup, it's all of my best-selling items. They look great on everybody, every skin tone, eye color, age. Absolutely lovely, including one of these liquid eyeshadows, which are so, so easy to use. It doesn't get any simpler than this. Now, if the beauty box is not your jam, you can, of course, get it uh, by itself, or I'm actually gifting customers on my site this month really fun things so if you spend $75 US or wherever you are in the world um, the equivalent on my site I'm throwing in a free twisted epic mascara if you spend 125 on my site I'll throw in a free twisted mascara and this shade right here reverent and then if you spend 175 on my site I will throw in the Twisted Mascara, the Liquid Eyeshadow, and my Perfect Mauve Rose Nude Successful Liquid Lipstick. All of which do come in my January Beauty Box. So I'm telling you, that is the best deal. But if you have other things that you need to get that aren't necessarily in the January Beauty Box and it equals of that number, or if you wanted to kind of add a little extra so you get some free goodies, this is the month to do it. Lottie says, you and Blake have saved my sanity through it all with your podcast. Love being a nerd clan member. Thank you, Lottie. Blake is here right now, so I think he might have seen your comment. Hi, Blake. How are you, my love? Thank you so much. You know, podcasts do that for me, Lottie. Being an extrovert and with everything going on right now, it's just been crazy. Of course, I have not been sick with COVID. I'm just having, like, other stuff going on. Um... So I just, you know, podcasts do, they help me, help me feel connected to the world. And that is what Blake and I try to do. Can you ship to Norway? So I can't ship to Norway right now. I, we do ship in the UK. We'd ship the UK, Ireland, Italy, Germany, the Netherlands, uh, France, Belgium, um, so I don't know if you have any friends who live in those countries, Purnell, and we're hoping one day to be able to ship to, to Norway. We are expanding greatly in Europe. So um, let me know if you have any friends or family in those countries. Portugal, yeah, so it's UK, Ireland, um, Italy, Portugal, Spain, France, Germany, um, Belgium, the Netherlands, and there's a couple others. So let me know if any of those areas, as I said, if you have friends who ever like send you gift packages, but hopefully we'll be expanding to Norway soon. So keep your eyes on my channel for sure. So we've got that liquid eyeshadow going on. Really, really easy to use. You saw I blended it with my finger and now I'm going to go in with some foundation. Um, I was actually debating. My skin's looking pretty good today. I do have, you know, I do have like my little freckles and my age spots and everything. My main concern is kind of this eye area. So I kind of wanted to share with you one of my tips when I don't necessarily want to do like a full foundation or anything like that. I can just use concealer and kind of fix what needs to be fixed. Do any of you feel like that? You're like, I don't need to do a full face. I don't need to go crazy. So I'm gonna take found, uh, concealer in my shade. My shade is Organza. Now, if I'm trying to brighten under my eyes, if I'm doing a full face with foundation and everything, I will actually choose a lighter shade of concealer to brighten. But on days like this, when I'm not gonna be putting on a full coverage foundation face, I just kinda wanna like, fix underneath these eyes and add a little bit of coverage on particular areas of concern. This is my trick. You put on the primer and then you just take a little bit of concealer and you blend it and you're good to go. You do not need to cover your entire face. When you do your entire face with fuller coverage foundation, you need to add a lot of dimension back. You need to add some contouring with bronzer and you need to add a lot more blush. You just need to add those elements of skin back. But look at that difference just doing that concealer. Okay, so I just took my damp blending bud, I added a little bit of that concealer, mind you, I've hydrated really well, but look at that, it's made such a big difference, right? So I put it in this whole, I put a little bit there, as I pick my nose, and I blended it in this whole triangular area. Hi Mary, hey Brittany, how are you? 
Can you guys see that difference? So I brought it all the way up here. So it's not necessarily crazy full foundation on the half of my face. It is just concealer. Now what I can also do is I can take just a little bit and this is for me. I have some age spots. So I've got like one right there that's a little large and I've got a couple over here and I can just dab it where it needs it and take that blending bud and just blend it out a smidge. And because this is the same shade as my skin, I'm not gonna look like I have a highlighted area on my face. Does that make sense? So when you're choosing concealer, one of the first things I'm going to ask you is like, what is it for? Are you using it to cover acne? Are you using it to cover age spots? Are you only getting one concealer? Are you hoping to do something like what I do, where you really have like a minimal makeup look, but you're covering the things that you're not super confident about, like your under eyes or like age spots or, or breakouts? Because you can still see a ton of my freckles shining through, right? You could still see a bunch of my coloring. So I'm going to do it on the other side just to kind of clean things up. Oh, thank you, Mary. Good morning, Brittany. Feel free guys to put a hashtag hello lovely and to hit that share button. You could share to your stories. You can share on your wall. You could share in any groups that you like. So there's the concealer. I don't put it like hardcore right up here. I put it actually down and then I blend it up Whoops, with a damp blending bun. And I also kind of bring it into this inner corner as that's where I have issues. So once again, if you're just tuning in, I am not necessarily wearing foundation today. I do want to have a nice pulled together look. I'm running some errands. I'm doing some doctor visits. And for me, going to the doctor and doing all these kind of like blood work and tests and stuff, it's never a highlight in my life, I'll tell you what. And when I'm feeling nervous or when I'm feeling kind of down or self-conscious about different things, um, I put on a little bit of makeup and it helps me feel pulled together and polished. So just a little bit of that concealer underneath my eyes in that triangular area blended with a blending bud and I have like a faux foundation, but the rest of my face is glowing. So if you have skin that you are taking care of, I'm gonna do a little bit down the center of my nose, right up there, right there, right there. If you have skincare that is taking care of your face, maybe you are getting the skincare through me, um, and it's really doing its job and it's keeping your skin nice and looking great and you're like, I don't really need foundation, but my under eyes are a little meh or I've got a couple of little spots that I'm not too pleased with, just do it with concealer. I'm telling you, use concealer that matches your skin tone. Don't go lighter. Just use that same skin tone with concealer and it's going to give you such a really, really nice natural look. Hi, Ashley. How are you? All right, so there you go. So because of that, I do still have a little bit of my own rosiness and my own dimension coming through. So you don't need to do all the bronzing and contouring and all that kind of stuff, which if you're trying to be really quick or you're trying to go for a more minimal look, this is the way to go. And now I am going to do a little bit of blush as I just love blush, especially this time of year. I'm a little <laughs> pale, you know, and it's winter and normally I'd be getting a little flushed anyway. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of blush and go right around here, just a wee little bit. That's also gonna help kind of transition that concealer line. So if you did go a little heavy with the concealer or it's a little lighter than you expected it to be, adding a bit of blush, it's gonna help kind of even things out right there. And this will add just that nice little extra little pop. So you don't have to go crazy. You know, I have a lot of people who watch my videos and they're like, I just don't know how to wear that much makeup. You don't have to wear a lot of makeup. I did primer. Primer filled in the pores, fine lines. It also acts like a barrier to really keep your skincare nice and hydrating inside your skin without it necessarily evaporating. So I did primer. I put a little concealer on my eyelid to really kind of help cancel out the veins and freckles. I did my liquid eyeshadow. I just did concealer on my face, not all over my face, even though you can. It is such a full coverage, amazing concealer. You can actually use it as a full coverage foundation. But I just used it under my eyes, covered a couple of my more prominent um, age spots and stuff. And then I'm adding a little bit of blush just to kind of add that little winter, winter merriness. Are any of you doing a little extra blush nowadays just because you may be losing some, you know, losing extra color on your face or whatever? So we've got that blush. We've got, I do want to blend it a smidge. We've got the blush. We've got the concealer. I'm just blending it with a big fluffy brush to make sure that it's nice and even. If you are someone who needs to do your brows, this is when I would do your brows. My brows are naturally very thick, and so I sometimes just kind of comb through, make sure that there's no extra product in it. 
the shape is the shape is what it is right now. I have not been getting any threading or waxing done on my brows during COVID. I've been just trying to keep up with it. <laughs> Anybody else kind of like cut back on their self care during this time? I've been just trying to keep up with it, but I will also be honest. I'm trying just to see, like, you know, as my brows are a bit fuller, just naturally, you know, rather than tweezing them, <clears throat> kind of see where they go. I trim them. I groom a little bit with the brows, but also, I don't know. I just think that there's something I, I want to embrace more like natural beauty. You know, I'm, I'm embracing all my silver strands. I'm trying to do some days like today, less foundation. So just seeing where, where it takes me. It's not as necessarily perfect and groomed. Now days when I do go crazy and I want to have like an extreme eyeshadow look, I will have a highly groomed brow. Um, Prunel says, thank you. By the way, I love your makeup tips. I'm mother of three small kids and have a nine month old flat, uh, coated retriever puppy. So I really need your makeup tips not to look so tired. How old are your kids? How old are your kids, my friend? And how did you find me all the way in Norway? Did you find me through my podcast or did you find me a different way? I'm always interested to know how people find my videos. All right. So I'm taking now the twisted epic mascara. This is the one that I'm throwing in for free to any orders in the month of January that are 75 US dollars or the equivalent in your country. Um, if it's 75 to 125, actually 75 up, you're going to be getting this free mascara. And I love to take the little wand right at the base of my lashes and pull it up. Ashley says the brows are our new smile with masks now. I know, Ashley. I know. And that's kind of why I'm like, all right, brows, let's figure yourself out. And that, and I know that it can't be the same for everybody. Like I have very, very thick natural brows. So if I had thinner brows, I would totally be like filling them in and doing everything I needed to do. But because mine are so thick, I'm just like, all right, let's see who you are. Let's see who you are when you're not like groomed on the regular. Um, I, I'm just going with it, just going with it. But yeah, because I'm not going to my regular appointments, uh, they're kind of taking, taking a shape of their own. They're different. I always say like brows are sisters. They are not twins. Sometimes they're even cousins. Okay. They may be even a little bit more distantly related. Like this one has a very different shape than the other, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's, it's my brows. Brunel says my kids are 10, eight and four years old. I found you through your Outlander podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. You got some fun ages with those kids. Oh my gosh, what fun ages, my friend. I love those ages. Nice and young, but like, you don't have to worry about them like eating Legos all the time and oh, so, so fun. They wanna play with you, they still like you. You're in some golden years. You are probably very, very tired, like you said, but still sounds super fun. So let me know if you ever have any deliveries from friends from any of those countries that I listed off. And if not, keep your eyes peeled because you never know. We could be <laughs> expanding into Norway anytime. It's all about just like getting, you know, through different government regulations and things like that. But we have been expanding to a few extra countries every single year, which is really, really exciting. All right. So we got my Twisted Epic Mascara on those lashes. I am going to do waterproof mascara on my lower lashes down here and a little coat there. This is because I will most likely cry today. Just being honest. I don't do well with blood work and I have to go do blood work today. Henceforth why I'm doing a little bit of makeup. Um, I just don't do well with blood work and I cry every time. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I know myself. I know myself. So if you are someone who tears up easily or maybe you have a bit more oily complexion near your eyes and you find that no matter what mascara you use it kind of always leaves a little bit of a mark below my suggestion to you is to try waterproof at least just on those lower lashes sometimes that's all that people need is just a little bit of waterproof on their lower lashes the other thing that i'm going to do as i said so i did my lower lashes with waterproof just because i know me i know there's going to be a couple tears and then i'm going to just go and lightly coat on top of that twisted I could have just done waterproof right away but I love how the twisted gives me the the it just kind of grabs all those little itty baby lashes so beautifully 
So just a little coat of waterproof on top and that's gonna seal it in. And you can do this with 4D. I know a lot of people love my dramatic 4D. It's that purple tube of mascara. You can see those look of falsies. If, same thing, if you're someone who, you know, you tear up or you got an oily complexion or you're afraid you're gonna cry but you still want that drama of the lashes, you can just take a quick swipe of the waterproof mascara on top and that will seal it in. Good morning, Destiny, how are you? All right, I'm gonna close things off with a little bit of setting powder to set this makeup and then I'll be good to go. And remember, I did not wear much makeup today. I just put on concealer. I didn't even put on foundation. I put on my primer and then I put on concealer, focusing underneath my eyes and focusing on the couple of age spots that kind of are shining through. I did add a bit of blush to add a little, little color to my face. But on days when, you know, I don't necessarily want or need to wear full coverage foundation, just that little bit of concealer will do. You know, when you're taking great care of your skincare, um, your natural skin should be highlighted and shown. So I have been using an amazing skincare regime and my skin is just, it's better than it's looked in, in eons, <laughs> honestly. So because of that, I want it to show through. I want my freckles to show through. Um, you know, just, I don't need to cover it up. So, but my under eyes, ugh, they've been looking a little shabby. So I did want to perk things up there. Thanks for the hashtag of a lovely destiny. I'm gonna finish things off with the lippy that I was telling you about. So any orders on my site in January, if they're over $75, you get a free Twisted Epic mascara that you got to see me use. If they're over 125 US dollars worth, you will get the Twisted Mascara and the Liquid Eyeshadow that I'm wearing right now. And then if it's over $175 worth of purchases, you're gonna get the Twisted Mascara, the Liquid Eyeshadow, and the shade that I'm wearing right now, and also this Splash Liquid Lipstick. All three items are included in my beauty box, okay? Which is just $99 and it's over like $400 worth of product and coupons and all this kind of stuff. So it depends, whatever your needs are. But let's say, as I said, if you're trying to get something else that isn't in the box and you're like, I don't need the box, it's okay. Just know I've got some perks for you. All right, so I did exfoliate my lips with a lip exfoliator before this. It's winter, my lips are dry. So this is the shade Successful. It's a beautiful rose nude. And you can make these liquid lipsticks mask proof. I'll tell you why, how in just a moment. I need to put this on without looking like the Joker. So it has a beautiful little applicator. It goes on nice and moussey. And less is more when you're using these liquid, um, liquid lipsticks. I don't know if you saw in the beginning, but I actually scraped off the excess product. You do not need a lot. These are really, really pigmented. And you just wanna have like a light coat on your lips. And the applicator allows you to have some nice precision. This side of my lip is a little smaller than the other side. So I kinda of have to like draw it on if I want it to look the same. Any of you ever noticed that about your lips? <laughs> You're like, this side is like a little lopsided. There we go. Perfect. So as I said, I took it out and I kind of scraped off the excess. A little goes a long way with this product. And especially if you're trying to have it be transfer proof, you know, so it doesn't get on your mask or it doesn't come off on your coffee cup, use a little amount. And then what you're gonna do is kind of mush it around, make sure it gets on the little cracks and grooves in your lips. You're going to take a piece of tissue paper, a paper towel, a piece of toilet paper, and you will blot your lips two or three times. That's all it takes. And then it is on. And this stuff lasts super, super long without drying your lips out. So I really, really love this product. And that's why I'm making sure that I can gift it in either the beauty box or as a reward for purchases on my site. It's the shade Successful. It has a blue undertone to it. So it makes your teeth look super, super white. And even though I'll be wearing my mask in my doctor's appointments, I'll know. I'll know that I'm wearing a really cool lip. So I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in. If this video brought you anything, uh, joy, confidence, tips, please hit that share button below. You can share in your stories on your wall and any of your favorite groups. Sharing is caring and I really appreciate it. And I will talk with you all soon. Take care. Bye.